Okay, hey guys, uh, this is Michael and Skylar. Uh, we have an update for you about the real estate market, some exciting stuff that we are seeing out there. And uh, this is for November. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, some October um, stats uh, and we'll start with the residential detached homes. And the average selling price was $1,091,000, which is if you would compare it with the October 2021, it was up about $60,000, uh, but when we look at the last couple of months, it's pretty much stabilized under that 1.1 million mark. Uh, days on the market, so we are at October 2022, 46 days on average, uh, which is about 13 days more than last year. Uh, the list to sale ratio, that is where we are seeing the biggest difference. Uh, we are right now 34% which is leaning more towards the buyer's market. Last year in October, it was 74%. It's a 40% difference in how many houses are selling as of right now. The list to sale a price, uh, so how much the sellers are getting on average is uh, this, uh, this October was 96%, last October it was 100%. So pretty much everyone was getting their asking price. That is not happening. Buyers are able to negotiate 4% down off the asking price. And the inventory so we are now at uh, eight months uh, which is uh, just over a thousand listings that we have on the market and if you're comparing with the last year it was 464 listings so almost double the amount so 117 percent up uh, this year compared compared to last year so uh, you know that's that's some really good stuff about what's going on with the stats there but there are some key changes that we want to notify as well so condos and townhouses have come down a little bit in the last month. They kind of spiked near the end of September, or sorry, uh, August, and they've stabilized a little bit. They're reminiscent of what they were about 13 months ago right now. Uh, residential as well, like you said, um, is just about 1.1 mil under on average right now. The 96% sale ratio, it's about 46 to 48 days on the market right now. It's pretty average for a residential home. Um, so those are kind of the main key changes that we've noticed in the last month of our, our stats update, as well as, uh, Michael, do you want to touch on some CMHC stuff? Yeah, so the CMHC, well, first of all, let's start with the Bank of Canada. We've seen that there was another increase, about 50 uh, points uh, on the interest rate. So the Bank of Canada interest rates was 375 and if you would be getting a mortgage, which is an insured CMHC mortgage, you would be at 4.84 on the interest rate. So uh, that means that we are seeing there is some increase on your payments if you're looking to purchase a home. But I think there's some better deals out there, especially as Skyle mentioned, we are seeing the townhouses uh, drop significant, significantly in their price. Um, so I think there's some good deals and if you are renting and if you want to uh, get into the market, we are also going to be doing a great webinar uh, this Thursday at 7.30. So if you want to get more info, we'll put a link below and uh, we just really want to help people to understand, you know, is it a good time to buy? Can you afford it with the changes in the interest rates? And does it make sense for you, right? So we'll go over all the calculation and everything. Anything else you wanna add? No, I think that's pretty much it. Like Michael said, I think there's some great deals out there if you're really looking and trying to find something for yourself. And if you're motivated to move this winter, give us a call. We're happy to drive around in the snow. It doesn't bother us at all. Uh, so we're more than happy to help. But uh, you know, hop on that webinar with us on Thursday and uh, we'll be in touch next month. See you soon.